Shove that down there, out of the way. Ooh. Working in the garden today, obviously with this um, COVID-19 everywhere, we're all in a lockdown and it continues. Um, the one thing, of course, it, it means that I'm sure up and down the countryside, people's houses will be tidy, uh, they'll be immaculate, the bookshelves would have been sorted out, the kitchen cupboards would have been sifted and everything that people don't need would have been got rid of. The um, Perhaps all the books on the shelves will be in special order. The medicine cabinets would have been sorted out and uh, places in theory should be absolutely spotless because what else are you going to do? You, uh, that's the thing. Gardens will be well attended. And I thought part of my lockdown process was to sort out the back garden, sort out my logs, because um, I now have some racks. I've got some racks in the back there which are holding the logs and aerating them, if that's the right term, aerating, um, so that I can still use them because I use my SE all year round, which is my cooking range. Don't necessarily use the front room um, Clearview Pioneer 400 fire. Don't use that all the time. What about the noise from the, uh, that's the co-op, um, Morrison's behind me. So, just sorting out some stuff really. So one of the jobs I've got to do is fill up this little log store. So I've got racks that you saw, and then I've got this, which I've had. I try and now decanter the uh, logs when they arrive in the big bags, because being in the big bags, of course, they're not getting the air around them and although they're not really um, totally seasoned when they arrive, they're pretty well seasoned but they can still hold quite a bit of moisture in them and so keeping them covered and aerated obviously is very important. Um, so I want to decanter those, just don't ordinarily get the time so this is the perfect thing. The other thing is, I've just been very much aware every time, you know, you get a little cough or a sniffle, which in ordinary everyday life we all get, as soon as you get that, like, oh, I just clear my throat, suddenly, is this it? Is this the big virus coming, the coronavirus? Is it, is it attacking me? But fortunately, as of yet, no symptoms, no, none of the classic symptoms. I had a cold before I, um, before this virus really got into the UK and took hold. And at first I thought, is this it? And then the symptoms were completely wrong, dribbly nose, um, sneezes and uh, all the sort of head cold stuff. So nothing to do with the coronavirus. And I don't really think I've quite got shot of that. So, uh, but I don't have sore throat no temperature and actually I feel fine I feel fine and and my voice has come back and long-term viewers will have seen me go through that little that little sort of simple cold right let's crack on mm. I made a broth yesterday out of beef onions potatoes carrots celery leeks garlic and a red pepper with a whole load of stock and what have you in my crock pot and um, this is a, a crock pot that um, was donated by one of my lovely viewers so I could cook it in my SE and I've been living off these in fact I did one the other day and I make can make quite a bit in there and I did one the other day which is a chicken broth with um, herbs and all sorts of bits and pieces and what I don't eat then I can freeze and I'm going to have some of this tonight and what I had last night with my beef broth I'm going to um, freeze some of that so I can have that later on in the week um, seems to work for me and uh, yeah so I just suddenly thought as it's coming up towards lunchtime better get the chicken one out and get the beef one into the uh, into the freezer it's uh, been chilling uh, just to let it cool down from yesterday and it's it's all perfectly safe so and I'll only cook it one time and of course I'll only thaw it once 
so I think that's pretty safe. Meanwhile, back in the garden, I have now managed to uh, empty my bags that were all here. I could, I've got a passage to the door. I seem to have an inordinate amount of um, the big bags that the logs come into, so I'll save those and give them back to the woodyard when they deliver the next um, load, which won't be for a while, because I have got quite a bit, should it last me a month or so. Um, now that we're getting into this warmer weather, I don't need to use both fires, so that's a saving, just the uh, SE, and also um, I'm only using the SE in the evening to cook a meal, warm up the kitchen, um, and do any drying and heat the hot water, so that's that again is another saving, although with these skies it does get a bit cool in the evening. So the wood is in the uh, the thing that I was filling at the beginning by the back door, the big bigger one, and then I've stacked up another row and got another row here. The next thing I want to do is look in the shed. Yeah, it's got a lot of stuff in that shed. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't think, and I don't know, and I haven't checked if the amenity tips are open. I don't suppose they are because you can't help but get too close p to people. So all I can do is bring stuff out, pile it up, and then put it back again in a tidier fashion. I may. I may leave that for another day. <laughs> I know, that's so cheeky, isn't it? Um, I may leave that for another day. Um, yeah. I think a cup of tea and some lunch is the answer. I don't have much of a garden in my house. It's a small terraced house. Two up, two down, back kitchen and a um, bathroom. And there is a bit of a wind at the moment coming in. It's a beautiful day. There's still traffic on the roads. People are still going places and doing things. They're not all staying at home. So I don't feel so bad when I've been on my little exercise missions. Um, I've got this hedge and I'm just trying to think what I could do with it because most of it is dead. I don't know what you would call it, it's not a leandi or anything like that, it's, it's some sort of vibrant green fir tree, bought the potted plants from Morrison's um, the supermarket near me very cheaply and put them in a line and they grow up re relatively fast. I think I need to pull out some of the hedges. Um, and maybe eventually put a, a fence up but the one bit, the bit that's alive, is growing higher than I want it so I may try and tackle that if I can get in the shed and find my chicka 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 chicka, uh, fence trimmer. Um, I've got some mint growing in pots on the windowsill which is coming up nicely I should put that with some potatoes really and then I've got God knows what that is Oh, I think there was a there was a chili a chili plant in there. It's, it's a beautiful day, but uh, we are on lockdown, so we can't really go very far. But you can hear the traffic, can't you? 
Well, it's been a bit of a rough and ready video this one and I've been running around doing stuff but that's just day one really isn't it? Or, um, well, whatever day it is into this lockdown thing and the question is how are we going to survive uh, when it's every day for however long? I don't know but we've got to just somehow keep at it. Um, I have got loads of books that could be organized and orchestrated but I still have uh, other ideas for videos to make and um, it seems that we are allowed out to go and do some exercise so I may well carry on taking my camera there and just try and find different places to go and, and film. Uh, obviously keeping away from everybody else and being safe and all the usual stuff and, uh, and all that. These videos, from what people tell me, do uplift the spirit and keep people going. So, if you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, give me a thumbs down. I'd much rather you do that than do nothing, because a thumbs down actually is interaction and YouTube like it, and actually gives me a plus point. So, that's even better. So, give me a thumbs down. Love it. Till the next one, take care. Bye for now.